At the age of 58, I realized I wasn't learning anything new as a journalist, and given how many decades I still had to live, I wanted to do something else. What I really wanted to do was to retrain as a teacher, but there was no one out there who was showing someone like me how to do it. So Lucy and I met to discuss how we could make some way of making it easier for career changers to make this huge decision and become teachers. And at a time when there's a crisis in recruitment of teachers, it's crucial, but also even, about, well, even without that crisis of recruitment, it seems that the skills this demographic of people could bring could be fundamentally important to the education sector. Now teachers have done all sorts of things. They've been journalists, bankers, civil servants, whatever. It doesn't really matter what they've done. They know something about life and they can communicate that to pupils in a way that's really useful to them. So to our students now, teachers bring wisdom, experience, fresh ideas and perspective. And to the schools they're working in, they bring collectively thousands of years of experience of different sectors, different ways of doing things. We've now developed at Now Teach a program which makes it as easy as possible to apply and guide people through that, to get into a school, to start your training year, which we support people through, and then ultimately to retain them for the long term and to make sure that schools are getting the best out of them. The best thing about the Now Teach programme is the network. We're all career changers. We've all taken this risk and we all support each other. But what I hope for the future is that it won't be seen so peculiar that somebody of 58 wants to be a teacher. What I hope is that one day there will be thousands of us and it will seem perfectly normal.